And lo and behold, the older woman who owned the slaughterhouse responded. What she said was very interesting, and you just you just basically making yourself sound absolutely ridiculous. So you probably recently saw my investigation at a local family-run slaughterhouse. Now this slaughterhouse is owned by a grandma, maybe your grandma and her partner. I didn't meet her partner, but this place is the epitome of a family-run local operation. If you saw my video, you'd see that my investigators had already left cameras in this place. I'd reviewed the footage. I, so I went there already knowing what the footage showed. So I interviewed the woman. I was asking about what was in the footage. See, a lot of people thought that this, this older woman didn't know what was inside. She was just oblivious to what was going on inside. Do you honestly believe that this woman could own a slaughterhouse? have her son working in there and not know what's going on on the inside. She was gaslighting me and lying the entire time. What else is she going to do? Of course she's going to tell people, oh yeah, no, we, 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 we take such good care of the animals. You know, my son is he's just so humane towards the animals in there. But basically, even if they weren't like overtly cruel to the animals before killing them, you know, bolt gunning an animal in the head and cutting their head off is not humane either. Like the animals don't want to die. But what we saw in the footage was animals desperately pleading for their lives, screaming, like bellowing out, animals struggling to escape the knockbox for up to 40 seconds, ripping their own horns off in the process. Her son, this big, looked like a juiced up slaughter worker who was just venting his frustration on the cow after it looked like the, the cow had hurt his hand. He came in, holding his hand, grabbed the cow by the nose, starts swearing at the cow, bang, shoots the cow in the head like the cow was his enemy. And then the cow was still bellowing, I don't even think that cow was unconscious. And every time he went to cut the, the cow's head, the cow started moving, all right? And then the cow was breathe, trying to breathe through the hole in their neck. Then the cow stopped moving when the, the head was decapitated. Now, if you're gonna tell me that that was, just, that was just nerves moving and come on, that guy knew that cow was still conscious because the first cow, he bolt gunned twice to make sure that they, they were unconscious. But the cow that annoyed him, he bolt gun once. And there was other cows who were flailing around in the air. And you're trying to tell me they're unconscious, then you're just gaslighting me, all right? I wonder what um, an animal welfare organization would think about uh, th that footage and, uh, you know, uh, actual vets looking at that footage. You know, ones that, that aren't, uh, don't have industry bias. But the reason I'm making this video is I wasn't going to say the name of the slaughterhouse because I felt that naming and shaming is 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 good yes but really it's the entire industry that's a problem every slaughterhouse is a problem not just the slaughterhouse in question because uh, if you leave cameras in a slaughterhouse you're gonna see the same thing you're gonna see animals not wanting to die you're gonna see animals not stunned correctly this is just what happens in slaughterhouses period whether they're owned by a grandma a family run local operation that only kill local animals like this is like the the highest standard you could think of or whether they're uh, um, um, you know a big facility that that's killing multiple thousands of animals a week horrible things happen in every slaughterhouse because they're killing factories and animals don't want to die so they desperately try to escape so i wasn't going to name the slaughterhouse is my point but people obviously knew the slaughterhouse they found out about the slaughterhouse a lot of people were local to the slaughterhouse and they started leaving reviews and emailing the slaughterhouse and lo and behold the older woman who owned the slaughterhouse responded and this is what made me make this video actually because uh what she said was very interesting and i didn't expect nothing less really it was actually uh someone who eats meat who sent this to me they were disgusted with the slaughterhouse and emailed this to them why i've eaten meat all my life but seeing what you did makes me ashamed I've always been aware an animal had to die to give me the food I eat, but this is a whole nother level. It's not enough that you're taking the animal's life, but then to abuse and take your frustration out on a poor frightened animal because they dared to be scared and hurt your arm. It's sickening what you did and what you do. You have zero respect for the animals. That footage shows clearly what sort of person you are and there's no compassion or respect to these creatures from you. And this is in no way an isolated incident. I really hope there are consequences to your actions. This can't be allowed to go on. Now, this is a non-vegan emailing them, disgusted with them, okay? Now, this was her response. For your information, I regret that you will accept a doctored fake video and the vitriol of vegan propaganda. All abattoirs have dedicated, qualified food standards veterinarians in place at all times before, during, and after the slaughtering process. In addition, all areas have 24-7 sealed recording, which is retained for FSA inspection for after 90 days. Well, that's interesting, isn't it? 
First of all, the video is fake. A doctored fake video. Do you honestly believe that anyone with half a brain cell is going to believe that we faked that video? That person is your son. What do you think? We, we had some digital imaging from Steven Spielberg to recreate your son torturing an animal in a slaughterhouse? Their voice? Like, what is this? Vegan propaganda? <laughs> like, if anyone's propagating lies, it was you when you were gaslighting me at the front of the slaughterhouse for 40 minutes. You know, you're, you're propagating lies to the public. We're just sharing footage that we found inside the slaughterhouse. This is basically why she's saying it's fake. There is no way out of this. The footage does not lie, does it? Like, it's right there. You've been busted. You've been busted, you know? Your son should not be working with animals, period. He should not. That is the last place he should be. He's got some issues, and he needs to sort them out, and he's taking those issues out on those terrified animals. He should not be working with animals. But it is a slaughterhouse, so you are killing them anyway. This is what working in a slaughterhouse does to people. They start to get dominant and violent and, and you know, animals start to become terrified. And I've been in violent gangs before. I know how this psychology works. He's taking his frustration and dominance out on innocent animals at work. And uh, that is uh, pretty scary that people like that are walking around in public, around people, they get drunk at the pub, and you know they've been killing, cutting off animals' heads all day. You never know what can happen and what what type of psychological issues this person has going on. But uh, a fake video, okay? We're gonna believe you, okay? Uh, you just you just basically making yourself sound absolutely ridiculous. You didn't condemn the actions of your son, so you're you're by virtue of this email, it, it's like you're inadvertently defending the actions of your son because you haven't condemned them. So what type of person doesn't condemn what we found in that slaughterhouse? Someone who's what, trying to lie, trying to defend meat eating, has vested interest maybe? This is a smaller scale, right, of what you'll see um, when it comes to vested interest. The industry is a bigger scale, so they, they've got m much larger propaganda campaigns than this woman here. On their website, this is, this is even more interesting. <laughs> if you go to, let me just get it up. But the name of the slaughterhouse is C. J. Byford and Sons, okay. And uh, let me just uh, go to the the website here. Did they remove it? Did they remove it? They move. They remove it. I can't believe that. Okay, I'm gonna go to my um. I'm just going through my Facebook now to try to find it because other people have it. Here we go. Here we go. I've got it here. I'm gonna download it quickly. You can't hide from. You can't hide from this. This is uh. This is shocking. This is shocking. You should be disgusted. You should condemn that. You should sh shut this slaughterhouse down. It says, animal welfare and customer satisfaction are our priorities. CJ, Byford and Son. Wow. Animal welfare are your priorities? You know, it seems like you're, you're, you're prioritizing covering for your son uh, more, more than anything. All abattoirs have veterinarians in place at, at all times before, during and after the slaughtering process. Well, I know there's a vet at your slaughterhouse because we filmed them. It's really difficult to hear the audio, but uh, we could get the audio cleaned and analyzed to see exactly what the veterinarian was saying, look a little bit further into it, but it was something about animals having broken legs because of the slippery um, the slippery slaughterhouse floors. I'm not, I'm not saying the animals at that slaughterhouse had broken legs, but it seemed like that, so I can't, until we analyze the audio further, further I can't tell you exactly what was said. Does a vet work for the RSPCA, or who's this vet? Like, what, what agency does food standards veterinarians? Okay, are they FSA vets? I'm gonna have to look into that actually. If anyone's really good with uh, looking into like this sort of stuff with them, with um, like vets and what 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 is their role here? If there's a vet there, I would like to talk to them. I'd like to, someone to get in touch with the vet there, because those animals did not look stunned correctly. That that there was not professional. He was uh, taking his frustration out on the animals, swearing at them, grabbing them by the nose, pulling their head down. You know, if you got all that on film. You should analyze that, or I don't know who else is going to be held accountable for this, actually. The vet? Is this an RSPCA approved slaughterhouse? FSA approved? I wonder what the FSA think of this footage. It says, in addition, we have 24 hour sealed recording, which is retained for FSA inspection for 90 days. You didn't answer anything about what was in the footage. You just said, oh, vegans faked it. It's propaganda. Um, we have, we have a vet there and we have cameras.
Who cares? Just because you've got a vet there and cameras doesn't mean things... We left cameras there. Look what we found. Just because you've got a vet there and cameras does not, like, debunk what we filmed at your slaughterhouse. And we filmed it in February. February, March, April. It's it's the beginning of May now, so it's a few months ago. But the person... Let's go back to the person who sent me this message who's, who's not a, who was not a vegan and was just ex- disgusted about what they saw. I just want you to know that what I've seen has affected me and the way that I see the meat trade. I've been ignorant for too long. I've spoken to my husband about how I feel about it and we're both going to learn to live vegan. I can't be part of the suffering. Thank you for the link. I sent them a link to Challenge 22. Beautiful story there. Anyone with with a heart, if they've seen... What I saw in that footage was absolutely heartbreaking. One of the cows, when they got into the knot box, they go in the knot box and they can smell blood and things. It's a, it's a scary place. And then they look down and they've seen the gun. And then the cow tries to nuzzle the gun off. You tell them, human beings think animals are so stupid, but they're actually really smart. You don't know like what farm they come from and whether the, the, the cow has seen a farmer shoot a, shoot a cow. Cows know that some, if you're stuck in a, in, a, in a cattle crush and there's something pointy and black on the um, ledge, that that's probably going to be used to hurt them or kill them. They're not stupid. You know, the animals were walking. She, she, the lady told me that animals don't see each other get killed. They don't see other the animals be butchered. Animal does not see a death. They literally go in there. They see animals being chopped up. That you, do you think a cow doesn't know what another cow looks like? Like, of course they do. So when they and those cows come in together, on the truck, they're probably friends. So the cow goes in, looks over the ledge, sees their friends getting cut up, going, "Oh my god, I'm next!" Starts freaking out, screaming. <laughs> She, she lied the entire time. She told me the cows don't see each other. Just a full animal abuser mentality. Like, you know, they don't know. They're, they're too stupid to know what's going on. They're too stupid to know we're about to kill them. This is the mentality of the meat industry. They care not for the animals. They only care for human pleasure, eating steak, and uh, monetary gain. That's all they want from the animals. And they operate under the guise of high welfare. And we care about animals. We're just big sanctuaries for animals that tend to slaughter them and cut their heads off and abuse them. Anyway, that is CJ Byford and Sons. What I may, may do is release the footage unedited. So if you, if you want to make claims that that footage is fake, then uh, I'll talk to whoever about this. I can share the footage with them unedited with everyone's faces unblurred. Seeing as you're denying this is real, um, I've now released the name of your slaughterhouse. What you could possibly do is you could leave a review at CJ Byford and Sons. Someone's created a petition to shut them down. I just think people should boycott the, these products and just know what slaughterhouses are. They are torture and killing factories for animals. That's what they are. Animals are not willing participants in a slaughterhouse. They go in against their will and come out chopped up into pieces. Why do people think that something humane happens along the way? Killing an animal can only be humane if the animal is suffering and wants to die. They don't want to die. They want to live. And just because you bring them into the world through your forced breeding programs does not give you the right, once they're a sentient conscious being, does not give you the right to do what you want with them. They should have moral rights, a moral right to live their life and not be tortured and killed. So anyway, that's my thoughts. I just thought I'd make that video. I'm actually super shocked about that. CJ Byford and Sons uh, will probably release the footage just on its own. Gaslighting tactics, do not listen to the meat industry. Even when you catch them red-handed and they're backed into a corner, they're always gonna say, oh, well, it's fake, it's vegan propaganda. Don't listen to them, they've got a, they've got a vegan's got an agenda. Yeah, the agenda is, we don't want you to execute animals. That's the agenda, what's your agenda? Eat their bodies and sell their body parts? Why should we listen to you? Boycott this madness and live vegan. I'll leave a link down below. Share the video far and wide. Obviously, they don't want it getting out. Uh, leave a review at the slaughterhouse. Um, if you wanted to do some vigils, go down there. I would be careful because um, I don't know how dangerous and violent the people are working there. They seem pretty pretty dangerous and violent. If they can do that to an animal, I don't know what they would do to a person. Keep your wits about you. Be careful. But, you know, places like this should not should definitely not exist. And they should definitely not be making money off of the demise of animals. It's just it's sickening. Thank you all for watching. Thank you all for your support. And I'll see you all in the next video.